everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have for you today my week three Slimming World update. So I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna keep this week's video really short and sweet. I am battling the lurgy for what feels like the hundredth time already this year. It's just continuous. When you've got a child at school, especially I think in reception year when they're like little and they're picking up everything, it is just going around our family like crazy. We've got colds and sickness bugs and all sorts going around. I'm really, really sorry about the lighting. But obviously this channel is fairly new and I don't have all the expensive gadgets and light rings and things like that so i normally just try and pick my lighting like the times of the day to film which would obviously have been earlier a nice sunny morning but my son's off school and it's the school holidays it's just not worked out like that so i have to excuse the awful awful evening light but anyway and now on week three of my slimming world and it's going okay quite a kind of nice week we haven't really had any socializing that's particularly got in the way it's kind of stuck to it i've been plodding along trying to curb my evening snacking i feel like it's been quite a good week i have been tested once i went out for coffee and cake last night and literally just had the coffee so i would usually choose either a hot chocolate or a latte and then have a nice big slice of cake um but i didn't i just had like an americano with milk and that was that so i felt really proud of myself last night i came home i was absolutely starving but i did just stick to it and i just came home and i had a kit kat and that was it and then i went to bed i'm finding that i'm going to bed really early and still having like quite a lot of baths throughout the week just to try and curb my snacking because the minute my backside sits on that sofa watching telly it is a dodgy old ground really but it is what it is meal wise we did follow the meal plan that i popped on last week and that worked really really well pop down a meal plan here that i'll go through with you in a minute um next week is going to be a little bit different so the middle of next week we're actually going to have a gusto box delivered it's not an ad in any way this is just something that we paid out for and my brother swears by these gusto boxes and i've always kind of refused to have them i think it feels like a lot of money that you shell out for in a week but he actually couldn't use two of his meals last week and he dropped them around to us and I honestly they were absolutely delicious like what we cooked was delicious I tweaked it so that it was slim and well friendly really really tasty and pretty healthy and I did lose weight while I had them as well so I think all in all they seem like quite a decent choice so middle of next week we're actually having the first gusto box delivered and we're having a four day one so i think as long as you use the ingredients up within like five to seven days so it's quite nice that i won't have to like think too much about what i'm cooking so i've chosen what we're having I'm all under 500 calories the ones i've chosen just be nice to have the food in and not have to worry about it for meals we are definitely upping the salad and the veg i'm making for literally forcing myself to have breakfast every morning i'm not a morning per like a breakfast person at all but i am forcing myself just to have cereal i'm generally just either having weetabix or shreddies i'm trying to not get into the habit of just having coffee and a high five bar because i don't think that fills me up i feel like the shreddies especially do like if they do keep me going until midday and i've really really stuck to that and i just think if you wake up and have a bowl of cereal then you set yourself up um so that's what i've done really for snacks basically i've either been having a packet of the walkers baked in the evening because this is always the time when i snack either a packet of walkers baked or a kit kat I've got two lots in the cupboard, the normal Kit Kats, and then I don't know if you've seen them, the dark mint Kit Kats. And obviously I sin those and I have those with a cup of tea or I will have a mint options and like a high fi bar. Yeah, that's basically been the plan of action. I will just go through quickly what I am doing for dinners, like meal plan. So I'm actually filming this on Wednesday, so I'm, like, I do my way in on a Monday and I aim to try and film this on a Tuesday, but it just is what it is at the moment, especially with half term, like I say. So I'm actually filming this on Wednesday. So I'll start with the meal plan that started last night. And last night we had a homemade fish pie with veg. I actually just ordered some fish pie mix from the fresh counter in Tesco and it had cod, salmon and smoked haddock. So all fresh fish, all free. I then just made up a cheese like white sauce but I did limit how much cheese I used and I also used the lighter cheese so that you could get a little bit more for it. Made up the white sauce, mashed up all the potatoes and stuck some peas in the mix and served up with carrots and broccoli. It was a really really big plate of filling food 
and sim wise is a tricky one because you've obviously got a little bit of the milk the butter and the flour they're the only bits that are going to be sims you can judge really like how much of each of those things you put in like you can sim them and then divide it by four because it did four portions so actually sim wise i reckon around about three or four sims for dinner i think four is pushing out i think probably three if you you know, if you've got your healthy A allowance for your cheese and the milk, you're really only sinning like the excess cheese and the flour. So it's actually not that much at all. Absolutely yummy, all the family had it. And yeah, that was a nice one. And then tonight, which is Wednesday, we actually had a quick meal. We had some chicken to use up left over from our Sunday roast. We just used the Uncle Ben's lighter version of their sweet and sour sauce. And it's six sins for a jar. Obviously we had, it was between me and my husband. It's three sins and literally just diced up some onion and some peppers and garlic, popped it in with the chicken and bound that on and it took about 15 minutes all in and it was three sins with some boiled rice. Again, it felt quite a treat meal and it was really filling. So that was tonight. Tomorrow I'm actually, in fact, I need to take the lamb out. I'm gonna make a slow cooked lamb stew. I've got some diced lamb, I've got some sweet potato and I've got some butternut squash. This is just a recipe I kind of bung together. I've also got some Sainsbury's chickpea tagine, which I do need to look up the sin value for. We always used to use, I think it was like a Heinz one. And at the time that I did Slimming World last time, it was totally free for the tagine. I don't think the chickpea tagine one this time is going to be free. Just sin the value of the tagine and divide it probably between five or six portions and it's going to be fairly low sinned. Obviously there'll be lots of speed food in that and it'll be really filling. I tend to whiz up the kids so that they have it more as a thick soup and give them some bread and butter to dip in and that's the way I get them to have stew because if I serve up a load of meat, potato and veg, they're just not going to eat it, they're going to pick around it. Whereas they do quite like a thick soup, if you just tell them it's that, that seems to work well. Friday, we're getting into the habit of having chilli. Got tons of chilli portions in the freezer that have just been left over and it's made with the 5% mince, it's full of speed food, like hidden veg. And basically, Friday has always been my downfall. Since we got married, we always had junk food. Friday, it's always been our routine. We're, we're fine the rest of the weekend, but on a Friday night, we're tired. We put the kids to bed and we have a takeaway. And we've done that for, like I say, best part of 10 years. I struggle on a Friday, I really, really do. And chilli is something I really enjoy with rice and cheese or pasta. So that's what we're having, trying put the junk food Friday to the back of my head. Now, Saturday actually could potentially go a bit wrong because we're actually going out with the kids like around about tea time. I reckon that that might actually be a day where it could be a bit tricky because because we're out kind of late afternoon, early evening, we're likely just to get something to eat while we're out. And if we give the kids a choice, which we will because it's their half-term treat, they will choose a McDonald's. I'm 100% sure that they will choose a Happy Meal. That could be tricky, like that could be testing me, like I'm gonna be hungry because it's gonna be tea time, I'm probably gonna be talked into possibly having a burger. Having said that, the way I've always done it is I used to be able to have one bad day in a week as long as I was pretty good, like really quite strict the other days. So I'm not gonna overthink that. If it happens, it happens. And looking at the rest of the week, it's really quite low sin. So we will just play that one by ear. Sunday, we will do a roast of some sort. I think I've said before, we do have roast dinners most Sundays in the winter. We don't at all once it gets to like warmer weather. We have barbecues, lighter meals, but in the winter, we do get into that kind of tradition of having a Sunday roast. So we will do that. And then Monday, I'm going to make a haddock, leek and potato chowder, which is basically like a thick, fishy soup. Doesn't sound that appetising when I say it like that, but I've got a recipe card from my brother and I've decided that I'm going to try that one. I'm not sure how it's going to go down with the kids. And to be honest, I might just have something on standby for them, get them to try it, see what their reaction is and then have like a backup meal of pasta, like something like that. We'll just do some homemade garlic bread with that. So I will try and use some brown bread just to make it healthier, but put a little bit of garlic and butter just on the top and just have that to dip in my chowder. And that is our meal plan for this week. So it's quite a varied one, actually. We've got like chicken, lamb, and fish, and some mince. It's quite a varied week. Going on to my weight loss this week. Really knuckled down this week. And what I lost when I weighed in on Monday morning was four pounds, which I am obviously 
really, really thrilled about. I didn't expect to lose quite that much. I think historically when I've done Slim and Mild, I've always had this massive weight loss on the first week and then I start getting into it slowly. But when I started this time, I've really eased myself in gently. So I've had three and a half pound, one and a half pound, and then obviously this one was four. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased. So I've popped it on there. And by the way, I just got this from Amazon. A couple of people have asked whereabouts. I just typed in like a weight loss plaque and it came up on Amazon. So yeah, I've lost four pounds this week. I have lost nine pounds so far, which is near yeah, nine pound in three weeks. And obviously my target is still five stone. So, oh, five stone. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I feel a bit overwhelmed, but I think nine pounds, it isn't massively far off a stone and that's like a fifth of the way through. So that is it. So yeah, this week I'm just gonna stick to the meal plan, for my snacking. I need to start by different recipes. I think I'm still playing it safe. I'm again, like this week, I've got a couple of bits in that are a little bit different for us, like the lamb cook stew and the haddock and leek chowder. Every week I'm trying to put a couple of different meals in. And obviously the following week, having the gusto box is definitely going to be different for us. So yeah, good luck to anyone else who's on a slimming plan, like Slimming World, Weight Watchers, whatever, whichever one you're doing or just doing it at home. I don't know if it's harder in the winter or not. It feels harder because there's lots of germs, it's dark, you just want to hibernate and eat. I think it's quite hard to do it like January, February time. But anyway, it's good to get started. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. I'm over the moon this week because I actually managed to hit a thousand subscribers, which like, is just amazing. I really, really didn't expect to do that. Started this channel, it must have been around about May, I think it was. So like nine months down the line to have a thousand subscribers is absolutely amazing. And I really, really appreciate every single one of you. If you've got any ideas, suggestions of anything you want to see, then just pop them down below. I'm on Instagram with the name mama underscore hedgehog too. I'm rubbish on it. I forget to post on it all the time. I do need to get better at that one. I'm also over on the lovely channel mum with the name mama hedgehog. Have an amazing week and I will see you all soon. Bye.